Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Leo September 17, 2022. Indecision can be a good thing today if it keeps you from making choices you don't wholly own. The general tendency is to be in limbo, but it shouldn't detract from the positive potential of the day for reflection and emotional refreshment. This cycle impacts your close personal relationships most, after which work or health matters are more prominent. There can be a focus on the past with a close relationship. You could be waiting for information or otherwise in limbo. This may give you the chance to consider other angles that benefit you. In fact, it can be an excellent time to revise, review, and reorganize as you see things you may have missed because you were too busy to notice the first time around. Communications can be muddled today and tomorrow, but delays can also help you understand your situation better. You're being called to make an important decision, despite knowing what's best for you. Keep in mind that the moon, celestial ruler of your intimate eighth house of mergers, will sit directly across from Uranus in your communication sector, so the key is to keep an open mind, especially for those of you struggling with meeting a lover halfway with regards to your belief systems. You may have an idea about where you want to take your professional development after yesterday's moon moon in Taurus. But the moon leaves Taurus for mutable Gemini today, which now squares your sign. You are a fire sign who loves to live life according to whatever whim you have, so the lunar energy is a little too focused for your liking. However, the moon in Gemini can help you steadily make progress in your career, hopefully by focusing on a few promising ventures that stoke your passion and have the potential to become a remarkable accomplishment. Today's celestial energy has you rethinking the areas in your life. If you're not as challenged and delighted with your job as you feel you should be, then perhaps it's time for a change. For you, the trick will be figuring out what exactly it is that you want to do. You have a tremendous amount of innate creative ability. If you aren't using these talents much, why not explore a career that would allow you to develop these abilities further? It will be hard interacting with people today. You overreact to the smallest things and feel completely misunderstood. It would do you good to take a step back, clear your thoughts and start tackling the arguments in a calmer way. It's a spiral of fun, and you're stuck in the middle. You can't stop smiling at your amazing good luck, and that smile's going to get you a lot of good attention. If the response you get from prospective dates is not always positive, consider how your approach might be improved. You may want to ask what you could change about yourself. Becoming more self-aware can help you understand what to change or at least help you appreciate another's point of view or not. You could have troubles organizing your thoughts today, even though there is much that you need to accomplish. You haven't been allowing much time to take care of personal errands, and today it could catch up with you. Unfortunately, your energy might be low, and you shouldn't push yourself too hard. The stress of the past weeks may require you to rest a little and lighten up on your obligations for a little while. Today, you will feel split between a great need for solitude and a real desire to meet people. This vibration isn't very favorable for energetic people like you, so it might be better to relax in peace. Put your dynamism away, dear Nine, and stay home. But don't hide out, you can still welcome phone calls and texts from everyone. Having the moon not only in your income sector but at a friendly aspect to the sun in his last full day in your work sector is an advantage for both. As well as ensuring your nose for money is sharp while the solar spotlight is still on your work situation and job matters, this is highlighting the planets on both fronts that will continue what they began. This is taking away the urgency while boosting your confidence. Meanwhile, ahead of the sun's return to your relationship sector Mercury is making the most of one last day when it is all about giving your relationships, the past, and unsaid words a voice. Apart from leaving you more emotionally and intuitively engaged, the moon's transit through Sagittarius over the last few days saw it form a friendly aspect to Venus and Jupiter in your romantic sector. With Venus leaving later next week but Jupiter still in the early days of your luckiest year for love in over a decade, this has given the spirit of romance the right boost at the right time. Our Eyes in the Sky 
The moon moves into Gemini this afternoon, and will be feeling a bit rebellious before it switches signs. You might be tempted to shirk your responsibilities in favor of activities you feel more drawn to. If you want to spend the day working on a passion project rather than a less fun task, go for it, as long as you set aside time to take care of the important business later. It's a wonderful day to reconnect with your confidence, creativity, and body, so choose an activity that supports your mind, body, and soul. Once the moon switches signs, it puts us in a much more responsible mindset. You'll be drawn to organize your life a bit and finish up that work you blew off earlier. The mood will be both optimistic and pragmatic as you analyze the ways you can bolster your productivity. Use this energy to clean out your space, work out logistics you've been avoiding, file papers, plan for your future and tie up any loose ends. This is also a great time to reassess or revise any passion projects. Don't hold back, get moving toward the things you want. The energy here is very creative, so get experimental with your hobbies and express your artistic side. As nighttime creeps in, the moon moves into Gemini, giving us some much-needed organizational energy. Use tonight to check your schedule and make to-do lists for the coming days. After midnight, the Taurus moon sextiles Neptune in Pisces, synthesizing Taurian sensuality with Piscean imagination. Because many of us will be asleep at this hour, we can expect our dreams to be vivid, wherein colors, tastes, and sounds will be as real to us as they would be in waking life. We may receive creative ideas or develop a greater comprehension of spiritual truths through our reveries. Around dawn, the moon trines Pluto in Capricorn. Waking from our slumber, we feel as though the veil between the material world and the liminal is thin. Allow your intuition to guide your choices this morning. Pay extra attention to messages relayed in conversations, as they can have profound meaning. The moon then enters a void period lasting until the early afternoon. Remember, you do not have to be for everyone at all times. The moon begins its void of course following this aspect, lasting until the late afternoon. Instead of airing grievances or blaming others for wounding our pride, we might determine where our gifts and talents will make the most impact. In the late afternoon, the moon enters Gemini, ending its void of course. Over the next two days, our emotional terrain is governed by logic and precision. We feel our best when our routines are fleshed out. This way, we can manage tasks without succumbing to overwhelm. While this impulse to organize can help us streamline our daily lives and handle our business efficiently, life often proves unpredictable. If we are unable to rise to the occasion at a moment's notice, we should remind ourselves that we are doing the best we can under the circumstances. Discernment will get us everywhere, but over-analysis can devolve into tunnel vision.